Carmel Town director Kevin Howell's last action was saving his son. Howell, four-year-old son Penobscot district of the town of Etna Pond fell on Friday after falling from the ice drowned. On Saturday, the voters' board chairman Daniel Fry mourns the small town. So he was the perfect person for the role of a city manager. He wanted to make the town better. On Friday, around 6.30, Howell his son were going for a walk. And according to the Maine Inner Fishing Wildlife Department, they crossed a part of Etna Pond when they crossed the ice. Howell took the child out of the water and told him to take his mother. They were about a mile away from their homes. Penobscot District Serif's Detective Jordan Norton was in the region and heard the 911 call. Norton immediately answered and saw Katie in the water ULD not find. Norton Katie his son returned home. Maine Warden Service and Carmel Fire Department rescuers came. Fry said that 51-year-old Howell had given his position for about eight years as a town manager. As a city manager, Howell never stopped working to make things better. He helped create a town landing. He saw a new playground. When he took over, he went out. He entered and brought the community together. Each year, he was increasingly bigger and better for Kevin's work. He was always working on the next project. According to the 2020 census, Carmel is about 15 miles from Bangor with a population of 2,867. Howell and his wife moved to Carmel according to the town's website in 2014 and had a son. Howell was known to build wooden processing, building cedar log furniture and expand the family hobby farm. Also he liked the boat trip, fishing and walking. Howell is Golden Harvest Grange. No, he was a member of 33 and the current vice president. The Penobscot District Seraph Troy Morton was a friend. Morton said on Saturday that he said that his devotion to Howell's family and community was unique. Ethan Dissert, a friend and neighbor, described Howell not only to his family, but also as a person who looks at the entire community. Dissert said, to be honest, it was the most appropriate for a town manager. He really brought together the gate ceremony. Howell was cedar furniture business and served a city manager as well nearby farm with his wife. On Monday night, Carmel Selectmen will meet to understand the next steps to fill the position of Howell. The voters made a statement that they were full of deep sorrow on Saturday. And together with their thoughts and condolences, they called Howell's contribution to Carmel as really remarkable.